everyone, welcome to Age of Glam Studios. You're here with Rohina, and today, as you guys can see, I look slightly different. Today is uh, the celebration of my birthday, so I thought I'll do a quick tutorial for you guys on the look that I will create. On my right eye, I've got silver glitter on my lid, and then above the crease, I've got greys and brown, like a brown is the transition colour, and then silver highlight. And I've got top and bottom lashes on, and under my eye, I've got like an aqua colour, and on my waterline, it's white. So the dress that I'll be wearing is a Tarani Couture, really beautiful um, gown, so it works really well with this look. And then you guys will see me contour, blush, and do the lips. So the kind of look I'm going for, as you can figure out already, I think it's that great Gatsby look. So I really love uh, the 1920s looks and I'm a big fan of um, vintage kind of retro looks. So I thought, why not try something different? I'm really excited to create this look for you guys. Okay, to start off, I have already drawn my eyebrows. I've used Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Chocolate. So to prep my eyelid, I will use MAC Painterly Paint in a nude color. It will help it last long and also make your colours pop. The colour that I'll be using on my eyelid will be from my Yves Saint Laurent Couture palette and it's number four. The silver colour will be applied on my complete eyelid. So it's my base colour. I will then apply my highlight colour, the vanilla colour. So this will be applied under my brows on my tear dot area. And because I love that whole metallic look, um, especially because it's a night out look that I'm creating, I will also use silver dust. So this is a highlight. It can be used for your cheekbones as well as highlighting your eyes as well. I will now apply the highlight under the brow bone and my tear dot area. I will get my fluffy brush. The colour that I'll be using is this taupe colour on my outer edge and then taking it onto the crease and then blending it in circular motion. And you can slightly take it underneath as well. Now what I will do is apply like a transition colour above my crease just to soften it down a little bit. It will be from my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Cappuccino above the crease. So I will now do my eyeliner using my Inglot Gel number 77. I'm going to start from the centre, take it out in the eyelid. Always draw it fine and then you can build it up gradual. From my bottom waterline, I angle it towards my eyebrows, straight line, then I join it together. And now what I'm going to do is draw the eagle eye. So it's literally a little tip on my inner eye area. What I will now do is apply white onto my waterline. The colour that I've used is from my Graftobin palette. Give me a nice open set eyes. I will go back to my eyeliner brush. I will draw halfway under my waterline and then connect it. Going back to my number four couture palette, I will now get the darker shade slightly underneath. Also, I'm gonna apply this color onto my crease. So I'm creating smoke effects right now. This is Ben Knight Silver Prism. I'm now using a mixing medium. It's a base for the glitter to sit on. I will apply that with my flat brush, a small flat brush onto my eyelid. Try and keep the glitter below your crease. When you blink, you do not want glitter creasing and look, it doesn't look very nice. Now, this is the fun bit. So we're gonna now get some glitter. I will very carefully dab onto my lid. So the colour that I used for my bottom lash line, famous by Sue Moxley, I used the aqua colour under my waterline. So I'm literally brightening it up. I think I will smoke it up a tiny bit more. So I'm going back to my couture palette using the middle colour. And now I will just blend that in. 
I will apply Villa Mascar Raven from the root. Make sure you lift it. I'm going to quickly go over my eyeliner with my Ilamasca Precision Ink. Any fallouts on my lash line. These are my um, Kaviri lashes. You guys haven't seen them yet, so of course when I launch them you'll see it, but these are my Kaviri, Kaviri lashes. So I'm just going to leave it for a few seconds for the glue to get tacky. Whilst I wait for that, I'm now going to get my bottom lash as well. These ones are from Alcon. I'm sure I've mentioned it a few times. I bought them when I went to New York. I'm now going to apply the lash. Push it in place. Now I'm going to apply my bottom lashes, position, and then you can always get a cotton bud. So now what I will do is contour and highlight. So the products that I'm using, Elamasca Rich Liquid, RF 325 and 150. I've got MAC NC42 on my skin. So with a lighter shade, highlighting the bridge of my nose, my forehead, also my chin, facial expression lines, under my eye. Now I'm going to apply the darker shade, the same brush, just with the other side. I will also apply the contour. So I'm going to kind of sculpt it in. Jawline, my forehead. I'm now going to spritz my face now start blending. So I'm going to start off with the lighter areas first. Now I'm going to go into my darker areas. And now when I'm blending my contour, I will sculpt it coming inwards. So with my powder brush, I will use a tiny bit of banana powder, bridge of my nose, and my highlighted areas. I will now use my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour, espresso and cappuccino mixed together, defining my contour. A little bit on my forehead, on my nose. So I'm going to use the bronzer, Charlotte Tilbury, Filmstar Bro Bronze and Glow. So it's a face a sculpt and highlight. So I'm going to use the contour brush again. So I'm using a tiny bit of sculpt. Absolutely love Charlotte Tilbury products. So nice. We will apply a blush, Yves Saint Laurent number no. 6. This will be applied on the apples of my cheek. And you could bring it out slightly. To highlight my skin, I'm going to mix Film Star Bronze and Glow, Charlotte Tilbury again. So I'm going to use a tiny bit of silver dust to highlight as well. I was contemplating on if I should go for nude lips or like deep lips. I'll go for deep lips, so night moth. With the lip brush, you blend that in. What I will also use is my Graftobian palette. I'm going to use this kind of ready brown onto my outer lip. I want it kind of a wine ombre. Again, from my Graftobian palette, I'm going to use a tiny bit of white on my inner lip area. So it kind of creates like a pink. Now I'm just slightly outlining my lip again, going back to Night Moth. And then blend it in.
This is the complete look, guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it and make sure you guys follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter.